Hello everybody. I'm going to have a quick video here. Um, I'm a mess. I know I've been working really hard the last couple days and uh, so I went back and threw this back on. I had my knock around uh, nightgown on for the last couple days so excuse me nose itches. Does that mean somebody's rocking about me? I can't remember. But anyway, I've been working like a bandit on um, making these um, um, go-to bags. And I made uh, 22 of them. So I'm going to show them to you. And I put a number on them. So that if you're interested in any of them, um, let me know. And, if, and then because there's so many, I put a number so that you know. Most of them have two for out of the same fabric. Some only have one. Um, I went through all my stash and I cut up these. I spent a couple hours cutting them up. And then yesterday I spent five hours working straight on the bag. And then today I worked another five hours. So I put in about 12, 14 hours on these bags. But I wanted to get these um, get these out there in case you want them and if you don't that's fine I mean there's you know no um, no I'm not pushing them on anybody if you like them you like them if you don't you don't I have um, 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 boxes with hats and I've got to um, I've got to mail those so I need um, I need the income from these bags to mail those hats to the kids um, I'm mailing um, a box to Knots in Love um, and the larger I'm going to one for the ki kids and one for the veterans um, I have uh, a, a little uh, a nice little box of hats that are larger than for kids and those are going to go to Knots in Love for the veterans so um, yeah so that's that's what that's what this does and um, what else have I got going? And of course, the Kids and Needs Foundation. I've got three boxes there. I got to go back through them though, and I've got to count them. I forgot to count them when I packed them. So I'm hoping to get my um, my great niece um, to help me uh, with some of this administrative stuff. I just get so far behind. I don't get to do anything. Except, I know I'm not all prettied up and all that stuff you just have to not look at that just look at the bags so here we go the go-to bags I've changed the price on those so that it includes shipping so I I know approximately how much the shipping costs so what I did was I just make it one flat rate and it's $25 each each go-to bag is $25 and that includes shipping. I'm going to say it one more time. So that way you, I don't have to get a lot of questions on it. The go-to bags with the handles. Now these all have handles in the middle. Are $25 and that includes, includes shipping. Okay. So we got that. Now I have also have the, uh, well I'll show you. I have the two uh, granny square bags that I made with the padding and the wooden handles and everything and I'll show you those again because those those two are on the market the yo-yo bag was sold um, I am in the process I've got to do a little tutorial to show you all how I make those and I'm gonna make another one like I did uh, the one for Wanda and that was mailed today Wanda just to like give you a, a heads up okay so here we go are we ready now this this bag only has one I went through um, all my stash of fabric and found um, well I'm going to use it up and I thought the go-to bags would be nice you might notice some some of the fabric were um, were gifts to me um, um, so anyway you might note you I don't think you've ever seen this one this one is number one and it has let me see let me get up close so you can see has all the little pharma animals on it see and it is 
and red and it has the little go-to handles and that's number one and you know you you scrunch it up I've got the I got it pinned in there for right now but anyway so that's I'm just going to go through these so that you won't have to look at my ugly face for too long so there's the farm animals and that's number one and then number two there's two of these and they're all box bottoms all of them are box bottoms every last one of them and these this is pink and it has the little uh, psycho cats on it I guess you would call it this is number two and I have two of these I have um, this has got green balls and the second one has blue balls so I have two of these and this is number two the psycho cats I call them psycho cats but they're cats and they have little sunglasses on that's cute and then number three I have two of these and these are the teacups these little teacups these are all teacups uh, teapots and teacups and and uh, little pastries there so that's number three I know y'all have seen that before and that's the lining the mustard lining to match so I have two of those that's number three number four I don't think you've seen this material before because I've not made anything with it except I use it as a liner and that's the beautiful flowers number four see the pretty pretty flowers so I have two of these both aligned in red one has purple and one has blue balls purple and blue balls here we go <laughs> So that's number four. Number five, you haven't seen this before because my neighbor gave me this, this, um, this particular fabric, I believe. And it's got, um, it's number five. It's got a row of pigs and a row of cows. And it's got the checkered look, as you can see. And that's number five. I put uh, red balls with black lining and black and black um, uh, uh, ribbon so that's number five I like this myself and then number six is all by itself you might not have seen this either this is I call it Paris but this Eiffel Tower and it's got French words on it and it's in the uh, bay uh, this is actually um, peachy color peach and blue and that's number six. Number seven, there's two of those. You might not have seen this before because I know I haven't made anything from this. This is, this fabric has um, scissors and threads and, you know, the pin cushion on it and flowers, buttons. And I have two of these and it's number seven. Number seven, red balls and blue balls. <laughs> red balls and blue balls. Number seven. Number eight, you might not have seen this either. I mean, I'm pulling out stuff I haven't used before. This is uh, yarn. It has yarn and it has uh, needles, knitting needles through it, uh, through some of the yarn. And I have one with red balls and one with green balls. And they're all, and they're both lined with the same uh, this country blue stuff. That's number eight. Number nine, you've probably not seen this either. This was gifted to me. These are cats, and it's peachy cats and black cats. See their funny little faces, white cats, and it's lined in black. And it has orange balls and orange balls. Orange balls on both. So I have two of number nine. Number 10, you might have seen this a long time ago. I might have made a big bag out of this. I think I did. But number 10 is the farm animals. The pig, the cow, and the horse. Isn't that cute? And that's number 10. And it has orange and it has orange lining in both and they both have yellow yellow balls 
So that's number 10. Number 11, there's two of those, and you've seen this before. This is the dragonfly. That's the dragonfly. And this one has a red balls and pink, no, pink, pink, sort of a pinkish color, the same color that's in the, the flies. So that is number 11, and I have two of those. Number 12, there's only one of those, one of these, and it's larger, as you can see, it's larger than these bags, but it was all that was left of the material, so I went ahead and made made a full, a full thing. It's lined in orange, because that's orange in there, and that's the, but that's number 12, and has blue balls. So that's number 12. And then number 13, I showed you this. This is, um, this is the, uh, the bag. And this is, has the paisley. It has like shape 13. And that's the other side. And these are $50, both of them, that I'm showing you. And you probably wonder why they're expensive. Well, it took a lot of my time took a lot of material, a lot of, I used my own yarn for most of it, and also uh, the handles are like $10 each, so that's why those are expensive. And then this one's the same price, and this is number 14, oops, oops, and it has the, I call them daisies or whatever you want on this side, and then it has this beautiful thing on the other side, and that's where the lining came in that we just saw on those little go-to bags and that's number this is number 14 oh, that didn't stick very well did it there we go and that's number 14 so that's 14 and then this one is 13 I'm just reading I'm just going through them real quick again number 12 dragonflies are 11 and they're 25 and that includes shipping and whatever else expense there is, it's all in here in the 25. And then the two farm animals. And you're probably saying, well, what size? What size are these bags? They're like 13 by 13 by 12. That's what I'm thinking. It could be larger. Let me see. I did have a, uh, here. Here we go, here we go, wait a minute, I'll tell you. I think the, oh, more than that, well, 12, 12 by 10, and some, this one looks larger, 12 by, 12, 12 by 10, I guess, and some are 13 by 10, so, yeah, so that's about right. So the little farm animals are 10, these, this is green, I know it, it's a pretty green, a nice, sharp, pretty green. And then number nine is the cats again. Number eight is the balls of yarn. And I will be putting a, a uh, um, stitch marker on these for you as a thank you and a little added. And here's uh, the, the blue thread uh, with the number seven. Number six is Paris. Number five is the cows and the um, pigs. Number four are the pretty flowers. And they're all box bottoms. Number three is two of the, with T. You see this little Uh, teacups and teapots. I, I lost, for some reason my mind went elsewhere. And this is the uh, Psycho Kitties, I call them, number two. I think that's cute. And number one is the farm animals. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, I know you haven't seen this before because this is the first time I've used that. Whoops. Stuff flipping all over the place. So that's it. Uh, if you're interested, my email address is below. Just send me an email if you're interested, and then I will invoice you for them. And upon payment, I will ship them to you. Um, that's the way it works, through PayPal. And um, I think that's it. And the pricing is 25 that includes shipping and all that good stuff. So um, that's it. So let me know if you're interested. And um, if you want me to hold it for a payday or something like that, just let me know. And I'll just print out your thing and just put it on hold for you. Uh, I won't hold it more than a couple weeks, though. I think two weeks is enough. But anyway, so if you, you know, first come, first serve. So... If I only get one, whoever asked for this first, and it usually tells me the time and when you emailed it, okay? So I'm going, it's 1030. I'm going to stop for the night because I am tired. So I'm going to download this, and I'm going to rest up for a few hours before I go to bed. And then I'm going to start um, tomorrow on my commission ones. I've got them all prepped over here and ready and ready to sew so I'm gonna knock out um, see how many of those it takes longer when you're doing the straps and and the pockets and all that stuff I do not put pockets on these because I found that they interfered with my straps and stuff so I just don't do that because it's it's small but I didn't realize that people love these this size for doing your little sock yarns and stuff like that so anyway no lipstick tonight. This is me. This is me. I don't know. I'm breaking out. But anyway. Um, so if you are interested, do email me. So that's it. I'm going to get out of here. Everything is wonderful. Um, and we'll do a regular podcast later. But I just wanted to get these on the street. Get this out on the street. Um, so that I can get it off my mind. And, and move on to the next thing. Um, that I'm that I'm doing here so um, I'm progressing very nicely but I probably won't be putting any more of these bags I got one more bag to make for Diane and then after that I'm working on um, my commission items and but yeah so I got, I got I like yesterday in five hours I did ten so and that's just I had already cut them and everything that's just doing the sewing part and putting the the ribbon through and all that good stuff so anyway so anyway that's it y'all have a great night and i'll be talking at you soon as debbie would say talk at you soon bye everybody <laughs>